Hey there, I'm Sophia, part of the growth team here at Shortwave. Today, I'm gonna to do a deep dive into how Shortwave's inbox works and how it makes managing your email a breeze. Let's get to it. Shortwave's inbox keeps you organized by default with automatic bundling and categorization. Here, we've got some bundles, which are just related groups of emails. We also have these special categories that just provide an extra level of organization and control for specific types of emails, like calendar invites and promotions. Now that we understand how things are organized, it makes it that much easier to work through your inbox. Shortwave's workflow is just three easy actions, done, pin, and snooze. Along with the ability to drag and drop threads, these actions help you manage your inbox like the to-do list that it actually is. Now let's see what these actually do. First up is done. This is for emails that require no further action. Done clears an email from your inbox, so you can focus on what matters. Or get to inbox zero if that's your thing. Just like archive, the done button doesn't delete anything. You can always find emails later through search or on the done page. You can also mark entire bundles or sections of your inbox as done with one click. Next up we have snooze. This is for emails that require follow-up or aren't ready to be responded to yet. Snoozing a thread moves it out of your inbox until either the snooze time expires or the thread gets a new reply. Just like done, you can find snooze threads right here on the snooze page. The final action is pin. Pin is for emails where the ball is in your court and you need to remember to take an action. Pinning keeps these important emails front and center by moving them to the top of your inbox. This pin section acts like your inbox to-do list where you can use drag and drop to prioritize threads or group things in any way you want. Drag and drop works to reorder threads across your entire inbox too, not just the pin section. You can use drag and drop to create custom bundles by dragging threads on top of each other, and you can even add labels to these custom bundles and apply a label to every thread in that bundle, making them easier to find through search. Sweet, so now that we've covered the inbox basics, here's how they all work together when it comes to actually organizing your inbox. As new emails come in, they'll enter this last seven days section. When going through new items, always try to do the following for each thread. First, if you can reply quickly, just do that. Second, if there's an email that requires you to do something that's more than just a quick reply, pin it so it moves to the top of your inbox and you'll remember to take action on it. Third, if there's nothing you can do right now but you still want a reminder later, snooze the thread so it comes back to you at a specific time. This works great for following up on threads where you're waiting for a reply. Fourth, if there is no action you need to take, mark the thread done right away to clear it from your inbox. Don't be afraid to click these check marks. Marking emails as done is like the most important step to keep your inbox focused. One trick is to go through and pin or snooze all of the emails you need to take action on like we just did, and then mark the rest of the bundle or section as done all at once. Poof, gone. After you're done going through your emails, you'll be at inbox organized. For some folks, this might just look like traditional inbox zero with no emails in your inbox. While that's an awesome goal and habit that Shortwave can help you maintain, we know it's not achievable for everyone, so that's why we say inbox organized. It means you may still have threads in your inbox that you haven't responded to yet, like pinned and snooze threads, but you should at least know exactly what needs to get done and feel confident that you haven't missed anything important. Now, I know I've just been using my mouse so far, but many of these inbox actions that we covered are actually supported as keyboard shortcuts. To use the shortcuts, just press down or J on your keyboard to activate the shortcut focus, AKA this little blue bar. To reference shortcuts, you can hover over an action, like here you can see the shortcut for done is D, or you can open the help box to learn more and see all of our shortcuts. And those are the inbox basics. Shortwave treats your inbox like the to-do list that it is, so you can have a more calm, organized, and enjoyable email experience. If you're ready to learn more, check out our Shortwave 101 guide and other walkthrough videos at shortwave.com forward slash docs. Happy emailing.